morning, Turkey. Hello and happy fall back weekend. The football team had another great game this past week to end their regular season. Cool in the hands, Logan Almeida, and Weston Pick reached new personal and school records. Hands was also named Athlete of the Week. I'm Bradley Leon here with Colton Hands, the new single season receiving yards leader. So Colton, what kind of work does it take to break this record? Um, the kind of work it takes is showing up to all the optional lifts, all the optional practices, and just being there all the time constantly, even putting in work after practice and just that on your own time. It also requires like your teammates to put in work too, because without your teammates, you know, there for you, you're not going to be able to do anything. So. What kind of advice would you give to the younger kids who want to break this record? The kind of advice I would give is to just do your best, try your hardest, you know, be there for everything. Literally every lift, you have to be there working and try to get some of the, something done on your own time. You know, if that was like a little bit of lifting, a little bit of cardio, just try to do whatever you can. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Bradley Leon here with Weston Pick, the new single season tackle leader. So Weston, what kind of work does it take to break this record? Uh, it takes a lot of work in the off season, lifting, speed training, getting ready for the season, and not just from me, from everybody on the team. What has been your biggest influence throughout high school? Probably Bradley Leon. He's always been pushing me. We've been on the same team forever. We're always competing. Thank you. I'm Bradley Leon here with Logan Almeida, the single season passing yard leader. So Logan, what kind of work does it take to break this record? Um, it, it took a lot of work. I worked on this for the last four years. I mean, off-season workouts, everything, just it all came together and it, we made it happen. How does it feel to know you're finally at the top of the most passing yards ever? Um, this just isn't really a single person uh, record. Uh, this comes with my whole team, my O-line giving me time to throw the ball, my receivers catching the ball. I mean, it, it's really bigger than me, so. Thank you. Previous athletes of the week were Mally Myers from the varsity tennis team in Chile and Owen Sherman from boys varsity soccer. Hi, I'm Wyatt. I'm here with Mallory. So Mallory, what does it take to be athlete of the week? To be athlete of the week, it takes a lot of dedication for one, really trying your hardest in all your sports and also being kind and encouraging to all your teammates and coaches. Okay. And how do you think your uh, tennis season attributed? I think that contributed a lot because I was able to go to districts for tennis. I went for singles and doubles and fought really hard. And I feel like it really helped me grow as an athlete. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brad. I'm here with Owen. Owen, how does it feel to be athlete of the week? It's pretty rewarding to be able to put the work in for the whole season and then have it pay off in the end. And how does it feel to be number one goal scorer in our division as a sophomore? It feels good. There were a lot of very good players in our division this year, so being able to show off like that, it feels good. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to our most recent Artist of the Week, Shane Peck, for the Performing Arts. Hi, I'm Nate, and I'm here with Shane, who recently got recognized for Montgomery's Performing Arts of the Week. So Shane, what's it like to get recognized? It feels great, uh, knowing that I've done a lot of good work and filling in roles for people who were absent or quarantined throughout this week was um, rather actually pretty nice of me to do, and I can't wait to look forward to what else I can do this year. All right, that's awesome. And is that what you feel that you did to deserve it? Yes. All right. And what would you say to anyone else looking to achieve this? Just do your best. Try to uh, help out others and, you know. All right. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you. Our ninth grade team of reporters are continuing to highlight our club and activity period. I'm David Bauer and I'm interviewing Ms. Kurtz. So what is your club and what is it about? Um, I'm the Scholastic Scrimmage Coach. And so this year when we got the opportunity to do clubs, I created the Scholastic Scrimmage slash Quiz Bowl Club. Um, so Scholastic Scrimmage in general uh, is an academic competition. But in our club, we need people that are uh, good at sports and pop culture and um, arts, as well as people who are interested in history or ELA or math or science. So basically we get together and it's kind of like a Quiz Bowl, Quizzo kind of thing. Um, so that's our club. Why do you think it's important? Um, I thought it was important. Uh, when I was in school, I wasn't all that athletic, but we did have a quiz bowl competition, and I thought it was important to offer other options besides sports. While sports are some people's thing, it's not everybody's thing, and I thought that um, we could have some fun and, uh, I don't know, learn a couple things at the same time. What are they going to be learning about? Well, 
you know, I mean, it is a quiz bowl competition. So we run the gamut from everything, like I said, you know, ELA to pop culture. But um, when we get a chance, we are going to be doing some competitions after school. Those students that are interested um, in continuing and actually being on the Scholastic Scrimmage team, we have some virtual competitions that we're doing. And we already did uh, our Scholastic Scrimmage competition for the year for the WBIA TV show. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Montana Twig here with Matt Moser. So, what club are you in? FFA. What are you looking forward to in this club? I'm excited because learning more stuff about farming and also getting to see different farms. Why do you think this contributes to our school? It gives a lot of kids opportunities to try new things. They're never into it. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Flake for giving the time to be our featured teacher for this week. Hi, I'm Colton Hessler. I'm here with Mr. Flake, the featured teacher of the week. So, Mr. Flick, what do you teach exactly? I teach all the things. Uh, I teach pre-calc, uh, calculus, and real-world math, and graphics, and web design. Alright, uh, so what are some hobbies that you have? Um, I have quite a few hobbies. My favorite is probably biking. I like mountain biking and gravel biking. Uh, those would be the things I would say I'm passionate about. But I like traveling as well. Alright, uh, so what got you into teaching in the first place? Uh, interestingly enough, um, some teachers, well, at least one teacher that's still in this building, uh, Mr. Oric, was somebody that I really looked up to, really enjoyed his um, technology classes when I was in school, and I also really enjoyed my teacher, Mr. Peterman. He really kind of drove me to um, kind of try to be the best version of myself as far as a student goes, and that wanted me to really kind of inspire other students. All right, well, thank you for the time. Yeah, thank you. That concludes this week's broadcast. Tune in to next week for more updates to our school and activity. Thanks for watching.